Imagine your surprise in Florida after July 15th. You submit your car for approval. It's a 2016 Toyota Camry, let's say. And Lyft says, uh-uh, we're not gonna accept this car, it's too old. That's exactly what happened to one of our Rideshare Guy readers. And in this video, I'm gonna break out these new requirements that Lyft is, is requesting, demanding of you in Florida. And stick around because at the end of the video I'm going to share with you whether I think this new requirement for newer vehicles is coming to a market near you. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy and today we're going to be talking about Florida. One of our readers um, of The Rideshare Guy uh, sent us some information that said, you know, things are going down in Florida. It's kind of crazy. Uh, they used to require cars that were like, you know, 2004, 2005 or newer. And then suddenly, as of July 15th, it's changed to uh, 2017 or newer. So let's jump right in. I'm going to cover what these new requirements are. We're gonna compare it to some other states, and then we'll have some great key takeaways at the end of the video. Okay, first let's start off by looking at exactly what is Lyft's new requirement in Florida. So what you're looking at right here is the website, the Lyft website. And as you can see for Florida, it says two th the vehicles have to be 2017 or newer. And if you had a car older than that that was approved before July 15th, then you're okay. But any new vehicles that you submit, they're gonna have to be 2017 or newer. Now let's look at what this looks like um, on the app. So what you can see here is that uh, in the app, you see the same requirements, right? And our reader, uh, Tara, she submitted <clears throat> her car and uh, as you can see it said this vehicle is too old so that's how we first heard about it and then we've heard more from more and more readers that this is happening in florida so next i wanted to see well how does this compare to other other states near florida so i went right next to florida and we started to look at georgia and what you see here on the georgia website for lyft it says vehicles 2007 or newer then what we did is we traveled a little bit west of there to mississippi and as you can see in mississippi it says 2005 or newer so it makes you think what's so special about florida why is florida 10 years the cars have to be 10 years newer than in neighboring states of georgia and mississippi why florida well, the only, the only reason I can see that they're possibly doing this is that there are just too many drivers there. So by uh, making it more difficult, some drivers are just gonna give up and they're not gonna try. Here we see uh, uh, part of an email which our driver Tara sent to us and how she responded to the situation. She said, I handled the situation like any self-employed go-getter would. I said, that's cool Lyft. I didn't really like driving for you anyway. Touche. <laughs> you love her spirit. She uninstalled the app and gave my Lyft light to a friend as a backup. My goal is to get out of debt and pay off my education loans. I own this car and have no intention to rent a car or buy something newer just to run rideshare. So why is Lyft doing this? Well, we can figure out a few things here. First of all, they're reducing the driver pool. So we can assume that there's a lot of drivers in Florida and they don't need that many drivers. So by making it harder to get a car approved, uh, the, the pool of drivers is becoming smaller. Now, that's really good news for existing drivers because if you're in, there are not gonna be a lot, uh, as many new drivers coming in into your market. That, can, that could increase demand for you. That could uh, make there be more personal power zones or what they used to call prime time. So you can get some uh, extra bonuses that way. So that part's really good. The third thing is the steeper barrier to entry. So less drivers are gonna be able to come into the market because if you don't have a car like that, you're going to have to either invest in a, in a, in a car, right, that, that is 2017 or more, or I think they're trying to point more people to the Lyft uh, Express Drive, which is the rental program where people can rent the car and then drive for Lyft and that way they're getting more loyalty from those specific drivers. So five, what does the future hold? Well, uh, I looked at uh, some gathering information for this article and I came across a Dustin is driving YouTube video and Dustin indicated that he thinks this is going to come to more and more and more markets. 
the, this really strict requirements. I don't agree. I think Florida is a unique situation, and that's why they've, they've changed it from a like 15-year-old car to a two- or three-year-old car. But we, we shall see. But it, one of the things that's going to happen is that many of those drivers that were driving for Lyft who are trying to get their car approved are then going to go over to Uber. So there's definitely going to be a migration of drivers from Lyft over to Uber because, as we can see here, Uber only requires a car to be 15 years old or newer. So what are the key takeaways here? Well, Lyft is trying to improve their business as always, and they found another little lever that they can fiddle with to improve their business. So by making it harder to get into the game, right, there's more of a barrier to entry, they're going to be less drivers. They're also improving the quality of the cars that they're going to have on the road by making anything after July 15th has to be 2017 or newer. They're also pushing people towards Lyft Express, uh, Express Drive, because that's a good product for them. And the more people that do that, that's also going to be really good for their business. Another key takeaway is interesting is that Lyft is doing this kind of radical shift in their car requirements ahead of Uber. Typically, it's Uber that makes the change first. So interesting situation there in Florida. And uh, if you're out there in Florida and you're in, great, you're in good shape. And it's going to be a little harder for you if you want to start driving in Florida uh, with these new car requirements. Everybody, I want to say thanks very much for watching this video. I'm coming to you today from Kansas City, from uh, the Hilton in Kansas City. I've uh, got a weekend event here. and. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm not in my car and I've got this uh, background here. But we wanted to get this information out to you as soon as possible because it just kind of happened and we want to let you know what's going on and to keep an eye open uh, in your market. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, give it a go subscribe, like it, leave us a comment if you like the video. And uh, by all means, uh, join us. Stay up to date on everything that's happening in Rideshare. We put out two to three to four videos a week, so it's a good place to get all your information. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.